Giving was never about the wallet, how many you have, or if you're in abundance, but it was always about the issue of your heart. I'm a senior at the State University, and I'm graduating in a few months. In our country, the people call us scholars of the people because in the Philippines, the word scholar often refers to poor students who are given financial support by the government because they excel in their academics. This year, 30 of us built a foundation to give something back. Our group, uh, we named it Ultra Mega Friends Foundation, or UMF in short, and it is built to help students finish their education in college or high school. And we donate 150 pesos each month, or roughly 3 US dollars. Personally, I skip meals, or sometimes I don't eat for a day so that I can get that 150 from my allowance. And I heard from my friends that some of them just walk instead of riding the jeep. We chose this specific person named Patrick because like us, his family doesn't have enough money to send him to college after his high school graduation. And with the money that we pulled together, he is now in his second semester in a Polytechnic University in Marikina. He is driven and he gets good grades. Here's the catch. Patrick doesn't know any of us. In fact, he doesn't know that the people funding his education are scholars themselves. People like him who struggle with paying their own tuition fees. Sobrang lugmok kami sa utang noon. Pumapasok ako sa school nang naglalakad lang. Tapos walang ka, walang hindi kami kumakain sa umaga. Tapos sa school, ganun din, walang baon. Hindi kami kumakain. Nag-stop nga ako ng isang taon after ko mag-graduate ng high school. Ginawa ko, nagluluto ko ng mga pagkain sa ibang tao. We know where he is coming from, and as scholars ourselves, we have had to scrimp on our stipends just to get from day to day. And when we took on this responsibility, the challenge became bigger. By next year, we wanted to get more students so that we can help more. It's our way of giving back to the people who most deserve it. We all see a bit of ourselves in Patrick, whose courage and persistence are a lesson that go beyond any classroom, that real education it's not about learning to make a living, but it's all about learning to make the most out of your life. Sabi ko nga sa sarili ko, pagkatapos ko mag-graduate, tutulong din ako sa ibang tao na talagang kapos din, as in wala rin pang-aral. Pero nandun yung heart, yung determination talaga makapasok ng school para hindi lang sa akin matatapos to, kundi mapagpatuloy pa rin ng ibang tao yung pagtulong at yung natutunan namin sa scholarship natin.